a man, if you want your woman to respect you, if you want your woman to be submissive, there are certain things in your life you have to put a stop to it. There are certain things you have to take control of it. Because certain things makes you lose your power to them. Sit down and let's talk. Respect is something that every man wants from a woman. And before a woman gives you that respect, you have to deserve it. You have to do certain things. But if you are not doing them, there's no way they will respect you. There's no way they will submit themselves. So these are the things you need to do to gain your power from women, to get your respect from women. The first thing you need to take control of, if you want power, if you want respect, if you want your woman to submit herself to you, the first thing you need to do is to take control of your sexual desires. Because women can manipulate you with sex to do things that in your normal sense you will never think of doing. Because of sex, a lot of high value men were brought down just because of sex, just because they cannot take control of their sexual desires. Someone can plant a woman in your life. If the person knows that you cannot control your sexual desires, to come and destroy you. And in your own house, you can lose your respect, you can lose your power if you can't control your sexual edge. Your own wife can say, I'm not giving you sex because you didn't buy this for me. You are kneeling down, begging your wife, or you are going to borrow money just to get that for her so that they can give you sex. Where is your respect? Where is your power? Women, if they know that you cannot control yourself when it comes to your sexual edge, your sexual desires, they will use that against you. They will play you like a toy. Don't let them control you because you can't stay without it. You will not die if you didn't have sex with that particular person that day, with your wife that day, with your woman that day. You will never die, okay? You need to move it from the need column to the want column. That's because the difference here is if you need something, you cannot live without it. But if you want something, you can live without it. Sex is something that you can live without. Just look at the reverend's fathers. They are there. Are they dying? No. If it is respect or submission from women that you want, or you want power for yourself, your self-esteem, your self-value, if you need them in touch, then you need to control yourself. Why your wife said or your partner said, I asked you to buy me hair. I asked you to buy me this. You didn't buy it for me. So don't touch me. I will not give it to you. And you are kneeling down, begging her, doing a lot of things. Even you are even crying for her to give it to you. Are they going to respect you? If you are nailing down for them, begging, please give it to me, please don't do that, crying as old that you are, you are crying for this. Do you think you get your power? Always they know, oh tomorrow I'll buy it for you, don't worry, tomorrow I'll go and borrow money and buy it for you, please give it to me. Where's your value as a man? Where's your respect? They'll do it to you again, control yourself. Another thing that will make you as a man to get that power that you want, to get a respect from a woman or to get a woman to submit herself to you is to stop chasing women. If you are chasing something, maybe the thing is running away from you and you are also chasing it. Stop it. You are not cat and dog chasing each other. No. Nothing is more embarrassing when you are chasing a particular woman and that woman is sitting somewhere discussing with her friend, laughing at you. Look at this man always chasing me. You don't have any work to do. Always in my DM, they will start insulting you. You look like idiot in front of them. There will be no respect for you. Instead of chasing women, chase your dreams. I believe in men who chase their dreams. That's my perception about them. When you are a man and you are chasing your dream, when you are successful, I feel like there's no need for you to beg women or to chase them to be in your life. They will come by themselves. I believe in that when you are successful. So right now, as a man, Focus on yourself. Don't pay attention to any gold digger out there. Borrowing money, giving them. No. Let your self-improvement be your priority. I keep saying it on this my channel. Always I keep telling you guys that focus on your dreams. A lot of women in this generation, they want a man to spend on them. So if you are chasing them with the little money you are having, my brother, I want you to chase your dreams. When you make it, all the people that were looking down on you, you will not be in your DM. You will not be eating with the high value people. You will be lifted up by God's grace and everything will be successful for you. Okay? With money, a lot of things are easy these days. You are a man. Respect yourself. Get your power. Why will you be stalking this girl? Why will you be chasing her on all social media pages? Every day you are sending her DM. Why? Right now, she is somewhere insulting you. So, where is your respect? What is your power as a man? The more you are chasing that woman, the more you are wasting time on that woman, the same way your business is going down. 
a lot of things are not moving on. You left your office to go and see a woman who is not paying attention to you, who is not valuing you. You close your shop to go and see a woman who doesn't value you, who doesn't respect you. People are in line waiting for you to open your shop so that they can buy. People are in your office for you to come attend to them. Your business will spoil and at the end, that woman will still not accept you. Respect yourself. The next thing that you need to do to help you gain your power or to get your respect or to get that submission from women is to express yourself. Don't be timid. Don't be shy. You are a man. Speak up. If your woman is doing something that you don't find attractive, you don't like it, please speak up. Express your feeling to that person. Tell the person you don't like this. Draw your boundaries. Don't close your eye on everything just because you want peace to reign. If your partner is doing something, babe, please, I don't like what you are doing. Yes. But always if you are keeping quiet, you are not expressing your feelings, there will not be any respect for you. They may think that what they are doing is the right thing. Once in your head you are thinking like, I don't want any problem, I want peace. But in their mind, they are thinking that they have power over you, do not give you that respect that you deserve, my brother. Instead of you keeping quiet on your pains, you are not going to get that respect. Speak up and get your respect and get your power in that house. In that relationship in that marriage when you correct them when you let them know that what they are doing you don't like it they'll be aware of it and they'll not do it next time they'll respect you next time they'll know that if i do this thing my husband my partner will be angry with me will not like it so they will not do it that's why you are gaining your power and your respect and your submission from then keep you quiet on it the next thing you can also do is stop being overly apologetic even when they are at fault. Your partner knows that she's at fault. But you'll be the first person to go and apologize. Say sorry. Always, if this continues, my brother, you will lose your power. You will not gain that respect you deserve. Which I know every man needs respect. Every man wants their woman to respect them. That's every man's priority. So if you want them to respect you, to be submissive, let them take action for their wrongdoing. If they have done something wrong, let them apologize. Not only you being the peacemaker in this relationship, in this marriage. No. If you continue saying sorry when they are wrong, how will they learn from their mistakes? I'm not saying you shouldn't apologize. Yes, I know sometimes you just want peace to reign, but not always. If you want your respect, they'll look down on you. Women take advantage of certain things. They can take advantage of your weakness. You will get your power. You will get your respect. You will get women to submit themselves to you when you do these things. Last time, a man was complaining that when he was successful, the woman normally respects him, serving food when he's back from work, respect him very well. But now that things are not going on well with him, the wife doesn't respect him anymore. Talk to him anyhow. That's it. Chase your dream. Women will respect you when you're successful. Okay? Which is supposed not to be. And also pray. Not you being successful alone. Pray to God that you should select the right woman for you. There's a right woman for every man. There's a right man for every woman. All we need is the will of God. And after marrying the person, too, you need to continue praying. After getting married to the person, something can happen that the person can change. Not that the person is going to be the same. You need to pray to God. Both of you have to be prayerful to make things work for yourself. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned something from this video. Please, the only way you can support me, can help me, is to like this video subscribe and also share to a lot of people and leave your point of view in the comment section what do you think let's have a discussion in the comment section god bless you for doing that so i'll see you in my next video stay blessed